swiftly moving on to class number three, which is actually a continuation of class number two, which is the selection tools. So without further ado, let's open up our Photoshop and move on to our workspace. So first class we discussed the move tool and then we obviously had the uh, marquee, um, the marquee tools, which was a rectangular marquee and the elliptical marquee, single row and a single column marquee tool. Today we're going to be focusing on this tool here, which is a selection tool, but this is the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. So let's start with the polygonal. Okay. So let's create a layer and we'll say poly polygonal. I'll take that back. Lasso was the first one. Okay, lasso tool. All lasso tool is freehand selection. That's my selection. And I've done it with freehand. It all depends on how good you are with a tablet or with a mouse. Okay, now I personally don't have a steady hand. So, lasso tool. Just so that you are aware, it's actually making a selection with free hand. The next option, or the next tool within that, uh, sorry, the next option within that tool is a polygonal. Polygonal. Difference between the lasso and the polygonal. Click your start point. Make sure you've got your left click down, release it, and drag your mouse to your next point. Click, left click down, and to your next point. Left click down, to your next point. Left click down, to your next point. Left click down, to your next point. To your next point. To your next point, and... There's my selection. As you see from the polygonal tool, it gives you straight lines. Okay. A difference between lasso and polygonal. Lasso is freehand. Polygonal will give you straight lines. Okay. Now there's many many scenarios that you'll come across in your working life or in your projects that where you have straight lines. So only a, a polygonal tool will actually work because you want to make straight cuts for example sides of buildings in, in images you'll see them straight lines so you might want to use the polygonal tool to get your straight lines okay third option would be magnetic lasso tool when you click magnetic lasso tool it gives you some extra options here width contrast and frequency i normally leave these as they are okay now the width 10 10 pixels so what what that actually means is every 10 pixels the system will assess the difference in colors within your selection and outside your selection are they quite if there's a big difference it'll be on the edge of your selection if there's less difference between the colors your selection might not be correct okay so you have to play around with these numbers the width numbers so all this is like with the polygonal tool where we were clicking to our next points next points next points next points okay magnetic you click once it will automatically create points for you just drag your mouse without left clicking okay without left clicking it will automatically create points for you Now, as this is a clear white image, it's just creating points for me. Okay, there's my selection. Let's go like into a, a slight real, real world scenario. I've got an image here, which was my 
background and I've created a copy of this uh, whatever happens I don't destroy we always work non-destructively okay so I've created a copy which says background copy I will turn off my original and let's get back into our lasso tool so lasso tool you'll be holding your left click down and then obviously depending on the steadiness of your hand moving it along the edges of your selection and all the same while I've got my left click held down now once I reach my first point or the first click there's my selection if I press control J now there's my selection if I turn off my copy of my background there's my selection with my lasso tool lasso okay so let's turn off lasso turn my background copy on again now let's move on to the polygonal okay polygonal gives me straight lines okay so I can I can pick my point where I want to start and let's say I want to start from here I will left click down and it will create a point for me now this would be my second point left click down moving on to my third point I've got it to the place I need left click down I want to move it down towards the start of the path left click down now as I move towards my first point if you look carefully at the polygonal uh, symbol if I move my mouse away and if I move my mouse anywhere near my first point or the first click that I made you'll see like a zero or a target point that appears just below the polygonal tool once you see that zero all that's signifying is that you reach your point now if I left click down it will create a selection for me now I say for example if I poly 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 okay now I've created a polygonal um, selection from my image now if I turn my image off now this was with my free hand which was my lasso tool now this was with the polygonal tool as you can see it will it gives me better cuts and better straight lines okay so there's my lasso tool as you can see it's slightly wonky but it all depends on the image that you're trying to work with maybe sometimes you need those those curves and straight lines but sometimes you know for the purpose of your project you might need straight lines so at, for that instance I've got my straight lines here okay so it all depends on the project you're working with or the document that you're working with okay so let's turn these off and turn off my background let's go into magnetic tool okay now where magnetic tool would come in handy for me okay you see here so for example if I wanted to uh, cut out this arch so let's start from this point as I move sorry I'll start again so when once you found your first point left click down it will create that first point for you in the magnetic tool so now all I need to do is move my mouse along the edge of that arch because there's quite a difference between the white arch and the brick wall behind it there's a big a difference in color it'll give me a very good selection now if the bricks in the the wall bricks were a lot lighter or similar color to the arch itself the magnetic tool would be all over the place so all I'm doing is without holding any button down 
I'm just moving my mouse very slowly towards okay now you see I want to go straight down if I try you see how it becomes wonky so now it's created that point for me what I'll do is I'll use that point click here I'll click I'll click I'll click the advantage of using the magnetic tool is you can click your own points as and when required so I'll go on now here as you can see there's a slight mistake so what I'll do is I need to bring one click back so I will press the backspace which means it'll take one of my previous points away I'll make smaller clicks and there you go once I go back to my first point or the first click a, a target point or the letter O or the zero appears which means I've hit my first point now if I left click now it will create a selection for me now if I press Control J and turn off my background you see it's given me quite a neat cutout because I use the right tool for the right job now if I was to use say a lasso tool like I said my hand is not steady it wouldn't have given me a very good cut so and if I was to use say polygonal tool it would have been good to a point say these straight cuts it would have been fantastic but then once I reach these curves this curve here this curve there my polygonal tool would have been not good for the job so here I used the magnetic tool so using the right tools for the right job okay just keep that in mind okay so let's go back here turn that off and so hopefully the concept of using um, magnetic polygonal and lasso tool are quite clear in your heads okay if you're not clear on any points please do mention in the comments below and let me know any points that you're stuck with and I will try to answer your questions okay so, until the next time take care of yourselves practice practice practice. Adios amigos.